Hi there, my name is Michael. I'm the customer success lead at Xano, and today I'm very excited to talk to you guys about uh, schema versioning. Schema versioning is a brand new feature uh, from Xano and is the uh, first part of more versioning features uh, to come to the Xano backend. So, what exactly does schema versioning mean? Uh, schema versioning is going to apply to uh, the different objects that you have in Xano, such as database tables, uh, API groups, API endpoints, functions, add ons, and background tasks. So, when you make changes to one of these things, Xano will keep a, a certain version history. Uh, it'll show you when a change was made, who made it, which is helpful if you're working uh, with a team so you can record who made a certain change and uh, maybe reach out to that person, ask why. Um, for API endpoints, functions, add-ons, background tasks, they'll keep track, track of things like functions in the function stack, a count of them, uh, inputs if there are any, uh, and results if there are any, or scheduling for background tasks. But let's go ahead and jump in and look at a couple examples. So I'll jump to my database first. Let's go ahead and look at this books table. So to open version history, um, I can go ahead and open this menu icon and select versions. Um, and you'll notice this message here. So version history is included on our dedicated resource plans, meaning uh, the prototype plan, which will give you up to uh, the most five recent versions of an object, and then the business plan, which will uh, give you a history of the 20 versions, uh, most recent versions of the object. Um, so right away, you can see there's a single version here. You can see when this uh, version was created, um, the fact that it is my active version, which is also helpful to know, and who created it. Um, so if I wanted to go ahead and say add some columns, this is book, so we might say something like title here, um, and then maybe another text field here like genre. If I go ahead and save that, and now if I go to open my version history, you can see we have three different versions. So if I wanted to just simply go back to version one where I didn't have a title and genre, I could just click that, and we're back to where we began. If I open version again, you can see a new version was created, and we can see which one it was restored from, which is also very helpful. Um, I might go back to version three now where I have that title and genre. Okay, so let's jump to the API. Um, we'll jump into the API group here. Um, I'll just show you versions history is the same thing for the API group right there, but let's actually jump into an API endpoint. I think you'll find that more interesting. So let's just jump into um, book and let's just go get all book. So right away we open our version history. Uh, we can see there's a count of how many inputs, functions, and results are included in this version. So um, if I went ahead and for example, let's just say, I'm going to clone this query all records. Now there's two functions in here. I should have a second version, and I do. You can see the count goes up. Uh, what's also really cool about um, the API endpoints, functions, add-ons, etc. if I actually go into one of these functions and make a change, um, let's say I wanted to add a custom query here, and I wanted to say where uh, book genre, even though I have no data in here, is equal to fiction, and I hit done, and I hit save. Well, guess what? That just created a brand new version. So you can see we still have zero, zero inputs, two functions, one result. Um, so if I'm actually want to go back and get rid of that filter, I can just jump back. And now when we go into that function, um, you can see that custom query is gone. And we'll just check both just to make sure. So obviously super helpful if you're dealing with a lot of business logic in your function stack or some users have some pretty complex queries where they're doing things like joins, filtering, um, even add-on, evals, etc. Um, so that can be definitely very, very useful. Um, additionally, it works anytime you make changes like authentication, maybe you change the verb, maybe you change the name. Um, the version, schema versioning will keep track of all of that. Um, let's go ahead Functions is going to be the same exact, it has the same UI as API endpoints, so nothing more to show there. Add ons um, obviously has inputs, so if I wanted to do just a example add on here, we'll say to the author table. Um, so any changes, any inputs you add or remove, if I go to versions, you can see there will be a count there, um, and then any changes you make to the query uh, will create a new version as well. 
And last but not least, task. So let's just create a new task here. Task will also keep track of how many functions you have in the stack and then how many schedules uh, you have. So let's go ahead and just add a single uh, schedule here and we'll add a just a single function. Just keep it pretty simple for now. Um, and you see here when we go to versions, you can see here's my first schedule and then here was uh, my second one in the, the active. So the schema versioning is going to be very helpful, um, especially as you develop or if you have something live and you need to roll back very quickly, you can do it with a click of a button. You can see who made different changes. Uh, so we think this feature will be very, very useful and we're very excited to announce it. So um, if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Please like the video. It'll help other users uh, find this content and other people who might not yet know about Xano. Thanks for watching and um, see you in the next video.